Amber Watch! Hello and welcome to another edition of Amber Watch News. I'm your host, Walter Crayon. Here's today's top story. Amberlyn Reed and her girlfriend Jade are officially broken up. That's right, this comes just before the fireworks on 4th of July weekend. What a celebration indeed. But before we get into that, first we're gonna look into one of the hottest days on record for planet Earth. And for that, we're gonna cut over to Miranda Marker with the weather. Miranda? Hey, Walt. It's Miranda out here reporting from the local gardens. These plants are looking thirsty and uh, that's because it's hot and pretty much everywhere it's gonna be hot. You guys stay hydrated, stay safe out there. Back to you, Walt. Thanks, Miranda. She sure looks like a dry girl out there. And here to fill us in on the international reaction, here's our affiliate over in the UK, Lord Quillsworth of Leeds. Thank you, Walter. A pleasure as always, indubitably. Yes, Miss Reed's caused quite a stir among the six other people who still for some reason live in the UK. Yes, it's all pitchforks and torches over on our side of the pond. Where will Jade go now? What will happen to our beloved Amby? That's all from me, as I think my car's just been keyed again. Back to you, Walter. Thanks very much for that take. It is always an honor to be in your presence, Lord Quillsworth. Back onto our main story, Amber had recently stated that her relationship with Jade was the most passionate she ever had. So what happened? Well, for the finer details, we're going to pass it over to you guys have to realize. Tyler? Hello, and welcome to another commentary from my channel. You guys have to realize. You should pay attention to what I'm going to say. That's right, we're back with a very special video today. The breakup between Amberlyn Reed and Jade Wifey. Feline. Wifey. Whatever you want to call her. <laughs> yeah, I think we all knew this was coming, and if you didn't see this coming, then what the hell's wrong with you? Today's video highlights include Amber saying, It was mutual at least three times. I'm in shock. And of course, who could forget? I don't want to shower. I just want to eat. What do you think? You think, <laughs> you think it was a mutual breakup? Sure, Jan. I don't know. That's up for you to decide. <laughs> you know, there are a lot of us in the Amberverse. Some of us drive luxury vehicles, and some of us ride on comets. Me, I drive a Volvo station wagon, but we'll be switching to a Jeep Wrangler soon. A very small Power Wheels Jeep Wrangler, so get ready for that. So if you're ready, grab yourself a snack and make yourself an appointment with your nearest robot therapist, because we're going to need it. And strap in, because we are headed towards the Amberverse. Working on this editing might take a couple hours Make some bagels taste sour, then I take a shower Here we go again Amazon unboxing till it makes me feel better Then I'll cover up the comments like some stretches in my sweater Ready? Ain't felt this good since I broke up with Becky I get my torrid on, I'm feeling sexy like Miss my pill reminders cause I'm on too many meds Yeah, I gotta stay in bed, but I'm feeling good <laughs> I don't do my taxes, I might need some help I don't plant a garden, I get lettuce off the shelf I don't want to work hard, I just want the clout I don't like my girlfriend, so I switch them out I don't wear a seatbelt, it only slows me down When I order Uber Eats, I gotta have the hash browns Yeah, I got a couple lawsuits, I had to leave town I don't have a license, my girl drives me around Target haul, toward haul, don't check the price, I got it That money stacking up like those calories I We start today's video hard and fast With Amber saying <laughs> With Amber saying right off the bat that her and Feline are broken up. Uh? Amber says, it was mutual, twice. And I guess I'm not the first to say this, but I, I am gonna reiterate this. Um, we all saw this coming. We all saw this coming and we all, every single one of us tried to tell you about the many red flags of your all's relationship, but you didn't wanna listen. Amber says she's mourning a death and that love isn't enough. Love, it just wasn't enough for Jade. She packed the bags and she left Took her shoes in the car And all those watches I got her Oh, where's my- where's Willow Davis when you need him? Amber says, I need to be single right now. Yep. Yep, I couldn't agree with that more. I, I think I said that like a year ago. I said the best thing that could happen to Amber is for her to be single. It's funny, I, I literally put out a video like well, like six months ago, talking about Jade and how she was the worst thing that could have happened to Amber at her at that time. I feel so validated, guys. <laughs> Hate to say I told you so. God. Here's something important to note that really signifies just how shitty Jade is. I have a note here from the video right before this breakup video 
where Amber is very smug and she's kind of going through like, oh, we're, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. And she gives a lot of relationship advice, which is... <laughs> but one of the things she mentions is that they're about to go see the fireworks because it's the 4th of July. A little bit of foreshadowing there, right? Amber says that this happened, Jade broke up with her right before the fireworks went off. No. Can you just, just think about that for a second. So you guys are at the 4th of July party and then Jade breaks up with you at the party and then the fireworks go off like a damn celebration. Can, can you all just think about that for a second? I wanna break up. Jade is one of the worst people. It's like not only a breakup for her, it's a celebration. Did it on a holiday and everything. Amber says that this is the most passionate relationship she's ever been in, and that doesn't that doesn't really mean much. It doesn't re that doesn't mean much at all. How much how much hand massaging has been in your other relationships? Oh, Amberlyn Reed, most entertaining, riveting YouTuber ever. My favorite YouTuber. Oh, don't never change Amberlyn. They laughed, they loved, they used hand massages. You all know. Amber says it doesn't even matter why we broke up. And I'm gonna count that as, again, saying that it was mutual because she just keeps on trying to make it seem like it was a mutual breakup when it just, I don't think that that's what happened. No. Was it not confirmed that Jade is polyamorous? Like that's a, that's a big factor in this. I think that that may have been what was the, you know, the straw that broke Amber's ankle. God, cancel me now. <laughs> I think it's totally possible that Amber may have like caught Jade with someone else. Amber tells us that they were fighting behind the scenes, but then also tells us that we're best friends. I'm her best friend, she's my best friend. Okay. I don't know about best friends, that just seems like a little dramatic, like you guys don't even know each other. In fact, that seems like how your whole relationship was. It was just all about how you guys don't really know anything about each other and everything stays fresh and I don't know, your all's relationship was weird. It's funny, I kept on saying, pack your bags, Jade. She listened to me. Well, I will say in the dollar store video, there's a there's a moment where they're in the car where there is a little bit of animosity between the two of them. Just a little bit. So Feline and I like to do this thing where we guess how much it's gonna be. <laughs> Her first guess was over 300. First of all, I did the math wrong. <laughs> and then my guess was 240. No, it wasn't. At it first, was two forty-five. We're gonna. We're, we're gonna, not talking about at first. Why do you have to be mad? <laughs> okay, we're not talking about at first. So my guess was two forty-five, and then yours was what? Two sixty-five. Two sixty-five. And came out to two forty. <laughs> so I was right. See, I'm the Tarjay queen. I don't get anything wrong at my home. Get away from me. <laughs> but she's my girlfriend. Yeah, right. Not in this lifetime. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out. Amber says. Calling her Feline is hard. Yeah, that was dumb to come up with these pet names for each other. That was, well, that was dumb. Amber says, I'm in shock. I thought you said it was a mutual breakup. What's there to be in shock about? If it was a mutual breakup, you should have seen this one coming, right? I feel shocked. At this point, I want to take a moment to mention uh, this whole time, Amber has not shed one tear and will not shed one tear in this video. It, this could possibly be because of the Zoloft that she's on, or it might be because she's literally become desensitized to being broken up with, with the love of her life. Babe, wait, babe, no! Babe, no! Babe, no! You know what I mean? Like, that is such a traumatic thing to go through, let alone to go through it over and over again. It's almost like she doesn't comprehend just how bad this is anymore. This is like, a, she's normalized breaking up with someone that she loves. Babe, 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 no babe. Amber starts going real Fallout 4 soundtrack and saying, how do I go on? Feels like I was hit by a truck. I feel like I can't live without her. Skeeter. Amber goes on to say, I know what I deserve. And this, this kind of makes me think maybe that, maybe that uh, Amber got cheated on. Who knows? Here's a weird quote from Amber. She says, Jade deserves the world. I can't give her the world, but she deserves the world, and I just want to give her the world. I can't remember exactly how that quote went. <laughs> Something like that. It was it was just a very clingy thing to say. A very, like, let me buy your love thing to say. A very memorable quote from Amber right here. I don't want to shower. I just want to eat. Man, that just sounds... <laughs> 
That sounds like I'm dropping bars in a song. Drop it, Lynn. I don't want to shower. I just want to eat. <laughs> what am I going to do with, about my intro? I got to change my intro. Shit. Amber says, I'm lost. <sighs> lost. And I'm ready to be single. She says she's going to be living on her own. Ah, uh, yeah. Fat chance. Um, Amber, you, you, you need a caretaker. Uh, here's my bet. You know what I'm going to bet? Mark my words. She was going to have someone new that she's talking to by the end of the month. That is my bet. Might be sooner than that. End of the month. Was it always like this? Plan on it. Jesus. Yeah, I'm pulling a Babe Ruth and calling my shots. End of the month. Amber then goes on to say that she's been using YouTube as a therapist and has been accused of that in the past and just kind of says it's not going to stop. Man, this is Spooksville. It's not going to stop. She says that several times. Why? You know that this is bad for you. You've seen how bad it is for you, and you just won't stop. This is just stubbornness at this point. <laughs> you said in this video that you need to be on your own, be single. That includes YouTube. <laughs> you think you're gonna be single whenever you got all these randoms in your DMs? Like, I sent you a DM, sweetheart. Thanks. Here's a weird quote from Amber, just in one breath. <laughs> it's just not something that I would say in one breath. Amber says, I wanna document everything. Of course I can't show everything. It's just, I don't know, little thing like that, but just one breath, one sentence says that. It's just, okay. Amber says, I have to move on. That's right. Yeah, probably should have done that after Becky. And this is just another reason why I think that possibly Amber got cheated on is she says, I don't want her in the bed with me. Get away from me. Shots fired! <laughs> this could be just Amber's way of being like, Oh, yeah, she, she was terrible, and uh, uh, I broke up with her. I know what I'm worth. I don't want her in the bed with me. It kind of lines up. Not really sure. Just a theory. Amber says, I need a shoulder to cry on. Well, you better call up Feeder Mike. <laughs> I, don't know if this, I don't know if YouTube's the right shoulder, girl. Here's a direct contradiction towards something Amber has said in the past. I don't have anyone here. Kentucky's not for me, it never has been. Yeah, if you don't have anyone here, then what is all this about you having friends and having friends over all the time? You know what I think? I think those were friends of Jade's. I think Jade went down to Sound Bar here in Lexington, that's the local gay bar, made herself some lesbian friends, and she's been hanging out with them at Amber's apartment, possibly having some, you know, sexual relations. And Amber didn't really like that, maybe. I don't know. It's my theory. Amber finishes up this video by saying, Now I get to be free. I'm free. And I suppose that's the best way of looking at it from Amber's perspective. You know, that's probably the best way of looking at any breakup whenever you're the one who gets broken up with. It's just like I said the other day in the Yo Alex video, things can change rapidly. And it looks like they're doing that for Amber. So we're going to have to pay attention. But with that, we have been teleported out of the Amberverse. The cryometer started hitting uh, dangerous levels because Amber just wouldn't stop that hole. We, we had to get out of there. Don't worry, everyone's good, we're good. If you look to your right, there will be a robot therapist to help you out of the Volvo station wagon, and you will be back at home safe and sound in no time. I'd like to thank everyone for watching this very special episode of You Guys Have to Realize and remind everyone that these videos are put up for entertainment purposes only. Please, please do not send any hateful or disparaging remarks to myself or anyone mentioned in the videos. There's going to be more on that. You know there's going to be more on that. Thanks again for watching, y'all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, they listen up when I conduct. When I come around, you want to post up. Baby, go and get your player unstuck and get the red bag and grab the makeup. Nothing in my pocket, but I still know how to rock it. Want a new player? You just need to unlock it. Catch me on the guns or come find me in the cockpit. Friend of nature, Davy Crockett. Hold up. Made a couple friends, they say I am on the glow up. Better look twice, baby, I'm about to blow up. Going high speed and I ain't about to slow up. All you gotta do is show up. Oh, hey, buddy. Would you like to join the newscast? Introducing my co-anchor, Sir Lixalot. Stop it. Walter Cramp. Amber watch. Amber. <laughs> Amber watch, 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 watch. Amber watch. Stay safe out there. Back to you, Walt. That's great. That, okay? was, that was probably the best one. <laughs> right, here we go. Let's get psyched.
Oh, let's do this bitch. Right, okay. I'm in shock. And of course, who could forget? I forgot. <laughs> it's Alexis. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, see you guys later.